Hey everybody, welcome back for another week of weekly pickups of your host, Polished Gaming. Without further ado, we'll get straight into it this week. Uh, actually, I'm going to address the pricing. When I price up games, this, um, it's starting to get a little bit, I don't know, it's, I think I'm going to can it after this week. Uh, I'm going to do it one more time because it's just I feel like it puts the flow off the video clip. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll get into it. I'll like I say, I'll tell you the prices this week, but next week um, I'll just cut it, make it easier so it makes the flow a little bit uh, better for the video clip. So now, without further ado, we'll get into this. Uh, this week I've got for a bit of a bundle from Ash Hislop from Trade Me. I've got Arthur and the Invisibles. That was $10.50. Uh, next one here is ba Bass Master Fishing, $7. I used to call it Bass Master Fishing, thinking you know, like bass, but yeah, Bass. <laughs> bass Master Fishing. Um, $7 is pretty good. Uh, this one here, Pro Evolution Soccer number 3. This one here is $3.08. Pretty cheap, but um, pretty cool game, the Pro Evolution series. Um, well, de definitely overshadowed by FIFA um, by, by FIFA and stuff like that. But uh, other than that, they are now... I don't even think... I don't know if they actually do them anymore. I'm not totally sure. But yeah, not a bad little system, but unfortunately overshadowed by um, uh, being FIFA, FIFA games. Uh, next week, uh, Pro Streak Golf, Pro Stroke, Pro Stroke Golf, sorry, uh, $3.71. And last one from Ashes Slops Bundle is, th is uh, Take That, $6.25. This here is the last one that I needed for the SingStar, I, be well, I believe for the SingStar PAL. I know there's Italian ones and there's a couple of German ones. But other than that, for the PAL English side of things, I believe that's it. Um, there is, oh, what was the one, um, SingStar Pop. I think it's pop. One of them basically has pop world and pop. Like it's it's really odd, but they're both exactly the same game. So if I find the variant of it, I will grab the variant. But for now, it's pretty much complete with that. So Singstar, take that. Pretty happy with that one. Actually, realise this one. Um, this must have been after the Robbie Williams left and went on a solo career because he is not in that band anymore. And that was the original one that he started with. Uh, this one here. Next one is um from Joe Cohen. Uh, actually, I'll say on this one, he did. He was he was. It's supposed to be a game here that he did send. Accidentally got it um, mistaken for another game. Sent me that out. I let him know on it. To be honest, I would have rather the game that he actually uh, the other game that he sent me because it was Spider Man Three for the PSP. A little bit more dearer than what I actually paid for, which I'll show you soon. Um, yeah, but basically uh, he just um, gave me some gave me some postage. I sent it straight out from there to the actual uh, person who got it, and he sent me my game. So pretty uh, happy with that. It's good. It's good when you got trade me um, folks that tend to make it a lot less hassle, really easy to work with. Uh, so this one here, four dollars. Babysitting Mama from the Cooking Mama uh, from the Cooking Mama world. That's a pretty cool one there. Um, I, I'm guessing it goes exactly the same as Cooking Mama games, but you're babysitting. Uh, a bit of another sucker for its game here, four dollars. Babysitting world, uh, babysitting party. Uh, yeah, not much to say about that. Most likely, really mini games. Um, absolute cheap kind of games that were on the Xbox. We what do they call them? Shovelware. Basically, absolutely garbage games. Uh, and this one here, Speed Kings, this is the one that he was um, supposed to send me and accidentally sent me Spider-Man PSP, but he sent this one back, and this one cost me $6, so, like I said, I would have rather the uh, Spider-Man, but didn't have this in the set, so pretty cool to have it. It actually looks like a pretty cool um, pretty cool game. Looks really arcadey. I thought Speed Kings might have been kind of like real push towards the uh, aspect of racing with a motorcycle uh, more than anything, but it's not. It looks really arcadey, and... Um, you are on bikes, but you're getting mowed down by cars at the same time. So pretty out of it. Seems like a quite a carnage game. Uh, and this last one, last but not least, is uh, from uh, NZ Retro member Sam Shearer. Uh, thank you for this one. They got um, five. Basically, here it's a uh, five dollar sticker for its cheap games, uh, PS2 games. So I grabbed them. National Geographic Safari Adventures Africa. Uh, this actually kind of looks pretty fun. It looks like a little kind of walkabout game. It doesn't actually look that bad, but yeah, I'd say it's pretty bad. Uh, five dollars for that one. Uh, five dollars. Horses ranch rescue. What's actually cracker about these? If you actually every time you go into them, you always see the name Pippa Funnel. I think it is. I think she was a quite a famous equestrian. She's in like every single one of these, and it's always got like Pippa Funnel. Um, uh, you know, the trademark Pippa Funnel. On my, but there's nothing on here that says anything about her. But they always trademark her name. So very interesting uh, why they do that. But yeah, I mean, horses game. <laughs> you know, it's, I mean. Oh, and saying it, she's not on anywhere, but she, I, I'm, I think that's her on the front cover. So, yeah, yeah, I'm guessing that's where they get the trademark from. And the last one here is Surf's Up for the PS2. Uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty cool game. I've been trying to get it for the 360. I did get it from my mate Vinny and Jess, um, but unfortunately it didn't have the manual. So I keep it in my collection on the 360, um, but until I find a manual for that one, it is not complete, and I don't consider it 
well, pardon the glitch, and I, I don't write it off, so the list, it still stays on there. But yeah, pretty cool game, little, um, co quite cool little co-op on this as well, like fun, fun little thing, so yeah, um, hopefully I can find the 360 version of that complete soon, I haven't actually seen it come up for ages, so yeah, it's a little bit slim pickings this week, um, I have kind of uh, dwindling back from last week where I've, I've got a big bundle, Sam, and also on top of that, the retro event, um, I did spend a bit of money there, so a little bit poor this week, that's why I've gone for some uh, cheaper titles just to kind of keep the videos rolling and have some content. So yeah, I mean, uh, that's pretty much it for this week, but hopefully there'll be a little bit more next week. I do have um, I do have a couple of things that I've got from Trade Me, so yeah, stay tuned, uh, keep on it. And like I said, but this week I will be canning the, um, the, the um, prices thing. It just, it's, I think it's the fact, if it was, if it was like, most of the stuff is in memory, you know, I kind of, I like, I like to keep a memory, I don't like looking down on things, I'd rather just kind of have a flow of it, no, nothing's edited in this, I mean, as you can see, I make mistakes and I just kind of push over them, or, I, you know, I, I do things like that, so and none of it's edited, I'm not really good on the editing side of it, the only thing that I edit is basically when I get to the video and it won't let me cut it, I, I just cut the end so I can streamline it up, but other than that, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do away with the pricing, I feel like it ruins the flow of the video, and, um, and it makes me kind of, uh, I don't know, a bit jittery when I'm kind of looking down and looking up at the camera. It kind of makes, I looked at it with one video, it kind of made me feel a little self-conscious where I'm not actually eyeing the video camera. So, yeah, I'll, I'll end it this week. But um, it was quite cool. I, I, I do I do um, like it, the fact that I could go back on it and check. But a lot of these, I actually have most of a memory um, of how much I paid. And some I kind of doesn't really matter too much but most of the stuff that I care about like like the big kid the hidden stuff I remember exactly what I paid for it just in memory so I've got quite a good memory for that so yeah but uh that'll be it for this week but like I say stay tuned in for next week uh really appreciating um I'm, get, I'm getting more subscribers I'm not I'm not that high I'm only at 213 but hey it all counts every little uh every little like counts every little uh, view of my view view of my uh video clip counts absolutely uh happy with all the people that have uh, tuned in and you know, I'm coming up into the thousand hours watch, so that, that's really cool for me. And, um, yeah, absolutely loving it. And uh, hopefully stay tuned for more, and we can keep going from there. See you later.